Hello and welcome to my YouTube page. I am Dirge, and as you can see before you, I have built a digital clock in Minecraft. I'm using uh, Minecraft 173 with the Red Power mod to create this. And this displays essentially the uh, red glow blocks and black wool. Um, as you can see here, we got you know standard seconds, minutes hours and this over here is our AM and PM light and a few seconds here um well probably a little bit longer okay the for the keen eye observers the clock is uh, running a little slow and that is due to how minecraft handles red power it doesn't update as quickly as actual electronics would and thus it the display obviously shows you know the fact that it's updating and I had to run it about every one second of this clock is about two seconds in real life to have it actually keep up and not like severely crash my computer but as we watch we'll see that um, when this uh, clicks over it'll update this and this now it'll take you know a couple seconds for that to fully update for the displays but you should see everything update properly and if you keep an eye on the same PM light here since we're clicking over from 11 to 12 that light will go out and here we are in a couple seconds and there we are and as you see the light went out all right, now let me turn the time to day, and I can show you some of the stuff I did. As we, as you can see, we have three stacks. We got the seconds, minutes, and hour stacks. And as we get more into the details, um, on each stack we have we have five levels. Uh, these top two levels are counters. They count from top level 0 through 9. Second level is uh, 0 through 5. Uh, this is latches and these two are the same. This one's for 1's place, this one's for 10's place. And the combination of these three equals two what's called 4511 chips which are essentially binary to seven segment decoders up here we have this whole area here is a single JK flip-flop and we have four of those as you can see and of course these provide binary output for the time and we got ones two four and eight now this top one is a counts from 0 to 9. It's a decade counter and that's handled by this little logic over here. When the uh, 4 and 2 locations are activated, which is this one and this one, in binary that would give us 10. At that time both of these would be on causing this to be true which turns this one off. Since this is nega, it would turn this one off and by turning it off it would take it dropped these, which are the clear on the JK flip flops, because I'm using the JK flip flops with preset and clear, and clear all these out and put it back to zero. Now, if we go down here, we have, as you can see, a very similar setup. Of course, as I said earlier, this goes from zero to five, and that is handled by similar logic over here, but these are pointed to three and four. Two, which will so when those are activated giving us uh, you know the, our third one or second one which in binary is you know two and four that gives us six it would reset it back to zero giving us you know zero through five and as we come down around here this is part of the 4511 chip that takes the binary number and translates it to seven segment display and we have if I can go up okay and we have uh, I 
I go too far? I think I might have. Yes, I did. All right. Turn flying off so I can drop. And on the second level, we have a mirrored image of it. This is for the tens place. The one on the bottom is for the ones place. And then we have this is the rest of the chip. It, this takes the binary numbers from the JK flip flop counter at the top, runs them through a latch, and then this information is sent down the this cable to the bottom where it's outputted to the logic gates. Uh, here is the actual clock that's running everything. This clicks every two seconds and due to how quick of a pulse this is, we were using this relay or this repeater to slow the pulse down so it doesn't cause issues with redstone updating. This uh, are minutes, same, same, essentially exact same stuff because it also counts from zero through fifty-nine. Uh, this cable here is for our dots in between hours, minutes, and seconds, and this is for the hours. Now, this three levels are the exact same as the others, and they indicate are they you know, the code from binary to seven segment. The real logic is up here on the JK flip flop levels. Obviously the you know you have your standard JK flip flops, but this is where it gets tricky. All this logic here actually will convert or will make it count from from uh one through twelve and on this level this is the ones and two for the tens place, which allows us to count appropriately. And this one is for the AM and PM. And there's a little bit more logic over here. You know, it works similar by clearing things out. And of course there's our AM PM light. Now this stuff was an attempt to make the displays buffered so they don't show as they're updating, but that kind of failed and could probably get it working with some more work, but you know that's more work than I really intended to put into it. As you can see, you know, time's still ticking away. Now we saw the uh, light update, and now I kind of want to show you the time update from 12 to 1. But to do that, instead of making you wait around for a, you know a couple hours on the video, I'm going to go update the. Uh, time so it's a lot closer and you can uh, watch it update from 12 to 1. I'll be right back. And we're back and as you can see I've updated the time to uh, 59 minutes and we're about to do the changeover and there it is and you should see the hour switch to 1 and there we are. And of course again it the update or the display takes a while to update because of how redstone works and real electronics would be a lot quicker, but that's the beauty of of Minecraft versus uh, real electronics. It's a lot more complicated to actually do stuff like that. So here's my uh, digital clock. Enjoy.